classes resumed for East Baton Rouge students, but the work to fix the school system's transportation issues far from over. Take a look at what the district shared today as they put out only eight routes did not run today. More than a dozen buses, 18 buses, had mechanical issues. The district leaders are mulling a new proposal to make sure that all routes are covered even with the driver shortage. But it could change what time your student starts school. And that's got some drivers worried. Let's get to our Perry Robinson, who spoke with a handful of them tonight. Perry. Hey guys, the drivers I spoke with today are fed up and asking for the board to consider more options ahead of this week's special meeting. Pamela France is at her breaking point. I'm forced between a rock and a hard place. France has spent the past 17 years driving buses for EBR schools, but works two extra jobs just to make ends meet. She and some of her colleagues could be faced with a tough choice soon as the district tries to fix their transportation problems. If I can't work my second job, I can't put food on my table. I can't, I'm raising a grandbaby. I can't buy my grandbaby things that she need. I can't buy what I need. The Transportation Department held a Zoom meeting and shared a new proposal that has France and others on edge. According to France, leaders floated the idea of staggering school start times, starting as early as 7 in the morning to as late as 9. It would also mean drivers have more routes, but school leaders say it could be an option to make sure every child has a ride until the system can fill more than 100 bus driver vacancies. Superintendent Dr. Cena Narcy said last Friday, this is an idea they might have to explore. They're going to lose a lot of bus drivers. They, they don't have none now. they definitely not going to have any if they go to three tier. Won't y'all get up on one of these hot buses, do a bus route for a whole week, not a day, not two days, a whole week like we do, and you can see how it feels to be on a hot bus. School Board President Darius Landis says nothing is set in stone, but every option is on the table. This is not a game. Our kids are not a game. Our bus drivers' livelihoods is not a game. The school board approved a stipend for drivers and mechanics and even changed how it will be paid out after drivers protested. And if it's not the best thing or the, what's the, the, for the best of our district and the best for our kids and our bus drivers, then we're going to have to scratch it and find something else to do. Lena says in the meantime, district leaders will continue to work towards a permanent raise and other transportation solutions. But he says this will take time to figure out. He's asking for more patience and trust that they will make the right choice. We have to get this right. I think we will get this right, but we need clear processes from here on out. Well, Thursday's special meeting will take place at 5 at the Professional Development Center off North Sherwood Forest. Leaders decided to change locations to help accommodate the crowd that's expected to attend. Guys, back to you. All right, far from over, but at least a little closer. Thank you, Perry. Appreciate it. So